So welcome back to the Haskell lesson. And now we're going to try out some pattern matching. Pattern matching is very powerful in Haskell. It allows you to match one pattern with another one and thereby calculate some values. Let's see how this works. Let's say I've got an expression like this. Let the tuple AB be 10 and 12. And then in, that means we're going to calculate this, A times 2. What will that do? Well, what it will do is it will bind A to the value 10 and B to the value 12 because it's matching this with this. So if I hit return, I should expect to see the value 20. Excellent. So you had a value 10, 12, you matched it with AB, and then you were able to do stuff with your A and B. Now, let's see another example of this. We can get the characters out of a string with patterns. Now remember that strings, ABC here, is just syntactic sugar for a, a list, A, B, and C in that order. So if I type this, let A, B, C be X, Y, Z. Well, this is in fact a list of, of three characters. So characters are going to be A, B and C. So I, what I should see out of this is the character X. And there it is, the X character. Um, OK, so here's another one. If I want just to dig out the first character of a string, and I know that it's got three values, then I would go something like this. X const something const something is X, Y, Z. So I'm just digging out the first character. And again, that returns X. And in fact, the way that I would actually do this, it was, as I would say, I'm really only interested in the first character. The rest of it, this underscore, that matches anything you like. And in fact, what it matches here is all of the rest of this stuff, essentially the list BC. So if I hit there, again, I get the value X. Again, here's an example for us. We want to get the A value out of this string. How would we do that with pattern matching? So we've got a tuple. It's got 10 and then it's got an ABC. So what I've first got to do is to dig that thing out and then dig the A out of that. So have a think about how you might do that. So the answer is what we do is we have a pattern which is a tuple. The first bit of the tuple we're not interested in. And then the second bit of the tuple that matches against this string ABC. So in other words, we're going to let A be the first character of this string ABC. And then we're going to calculate A. So after all of this malarkey, doing this pattern matching, that underscore will match against 10. The A will match against the character A. The underscore will match against the rest of that string, BC. And we're then going to calculate and return the value A. So after all of that, we're going to get the character A. And there it is. OK, so here's some more examples. Here's a string which where we're matching the string against the pattern don't care, const on to don't care, const on to C, const on to don't care. And that returns C. Here's another example. We're letting the, 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 the list with three characters in it be C, A, T. And then we're returning that as a tuple A, B, C. So if we do that, we're going to get the character C, the character A, and the character T as a tuple with round brackets around it rather than square brackets. So in this expression here, we can match against a whole value and pattern match on it. So let ABC at ABC be 10, 20 and 30. And that gives me the whole pattern there. So if I return that, I'll get 
ABC at matches the whole pattern. And then I can also dig inside it to get A, B and C. OK, so that's the end of this little tutorial. And then after that, they decide that it's time to dig into a book. And the book that they recommend is the one called Learn You a Haskell for Great Good. So if you're interested more in Haskell, this is a free book that you can uh, that you can read if you want to. Meanwhile, back at the um, uh, lectures, we're going to have a look at programming some actual examples in Haskell now using the Glasgow Haskell compiler that's here. And I'll show you how you can write some recursive function definitions. So see you in the next video.